Hey, this is TJ with PixarPost.com and welcome to the Pixar Minute. Let's start out with some Finding Dory news. Last week, four new Finding Dory posters were revealed that ask us to find Dory. We happen to like the one that has the stingrays the best, but if you want to get a closer look and determine which one is your favorite, just click the link in the video description below on this one or any other news topic that we talk about in today's Pixar Minute update. Additionally, in Finding Dory news, the next trailer should be hitting very soon. The trailer was officially rated on February 11th, which means that usually within the next week or so, the trailers are released after they're rated. So keep your eyes peeled for the next Finding Dory trailer. Continuing the Finding Dory trend today, February 16th, the New York Toy Fair wrapped. During the Toy Fair, there was a great group of Finding Dory toys which were revealed. Click the link below to head to our forum and check out a great selection of what was revealed. Since our last update, Pixar has continued to win big during award season. They took home a bulk of awards at the Visual Effects Society, the Annie Awards, and just the other night, Pete Docter for Inside Out took home the best animated feature at the BAFTAs. If you haven't seen Pete Docter's acceptance speech, you absolutely need to. He goes into how it's difficult to grow up, and the best way to get through that is to express yourself, to sing, write, dance. And he mentions that the world will be a better place if we can all express ourselves in that way. It's a fantastic acceptance speech, and you absolutely need to check it out. Pixar president Jim Morris was recently in Hong Kong promoting the theatrical release for The Good Dinosaur, and during an interview where he talked about the making of and behind the scenes of The Good Dinosaur, he also talked about the upcoming slate of Pixar films. Now we obviously already know we have Cars 3, Toy Story 4, Incredibles 2, Finding Dory, and Coco on the upcoming slate, and there's also two films that are going to be released in 2020 that are untitled. He mentioned that Dan Scanlon, who directed Monsters University, and Mark Andrews, who directed Brave, are working on original films. There was also a mention of a new director to the fold. Brian Fee, who's a veteran story artist, he mentioned is also working on a new project. This is very exciting and potentially a project that would slip into 2021. Very great news and uh, looking forward to see what else comes of this. Well, that wraps up this edition of the Pixar Minute. Be sure to stay tuned to PixarPost.com all week for the latest Pixar news. Bye-bye.